These are the scariest seeds in Minecraft, starting off with Giant Alex. And rumor has it, the only seed you can find Giant Alex on is this one right here. But watch what happens when you join the world and you check what seed you're actually on. Okay, so we literally just spawned into the world here. The weirdest part, but all of this, is when you type slash seed. That is actually not the seed we just inputted, despite it being a completely vanilla single player world. Already starting off with a little bit of a weird hunch, I will say. Now, there's a lot of things that we need to know about Giant Alex, but first, we need to get ourselves to a swamp. Okay, so we are now inside of a swamp, but there's a few things we need to do. Number one being we need to change the difficulty to be peaceful. Giant Alex only spawns on peaceful mode in Minecraft. And then, most importantly, we need to drop our render distance all the way down to six and apply. And now you'll notice the world is a lot more foggy. It's a little bit more spooky. It's harder to see certain things. Now, on a creepy possum form, somebody was mentioning that no blocks can be used to summon in Giant Alex. I know it sounds insane, but we already know in recent updates, you can put a mob head on top of an oak block and play a sound, and it sounds like the mob, including zombies, piglins, skeletons, and even weirdly enough, uh, dragon heads as well. But what happens when we put Alex's head on a note block? Well, the only thing we have to do is play it. Now, obviously, this doesn't make any noise, but I saw on a forum that a player literally reported this was the most recent way that they caught giant Alex in their world was by doing exactly this. I mean, I don't hear anything or see anything of that sort. It seems kind of... Wait, hold up. Bro, hold up. Wait, the, the note block and everything's gone. Wait, 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 bro, bro, no, 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 no. Hold up. If I place it all back, bro, wait, there's no way that it just disappeared behind me. Okay, when I stare at it, nothing happens, but if I look at it, then I turn back. Bro, no, bro, what? Okay, no, that's actually so sketchy. Now, this obviously is not concrete evidence of Giant Alex by any means. In fact, this is pretty basic evidence. However, I found a way to lure and trap Giant Alex, but it does take a lot of time to set up. So make sure you stick around to the very end of the video and I'm gonna showcase to you exactly what that looks like because it is terrifying. This is Binny. This terrifying white and red textured skin that was first originally caught in version 1.9.4. Now, the seed to find Biddy on happens to be 001100, which I've already entered, but you know what stands out more to me than that is 001100 seems like Morse code. I mean, does Biddy have something to do with Morse code? Is it something that's already coded into Minecraft? Why would Mojang want to add something like this? Now, one thing to note, when Biddy was first caught, the individual, when they came back to their computer, claims that it was already nighttime in game. And what do you think? The keyboard had stopped working. Are you telling me that Biddy has complete access to your computer? Is Binny a virus? Now we can sit here and talk about Binny all day. Oh, Binny this and Binny that, but nothing is concrete evidence until we actually find Binny. And perfect for me, it's now going nighttime. We're gonna try and replicate exactly what that person had done. Step one is to mine a tree. Step two is to grab your basic resources and put a base down. Okay, so we have our base down, we have our basic stuff, and it is nighttime. In fact, this is actually the exact same biome that Binny was first caught in. Now, this is where my house is. I don't want to forget that. What in the... Oh my God. Okay, that kind of scared me, bro. Okay, it's just a zombie villager. Nope, you can stay away, okay? Where did you even come from? Is There must be a village nearby or something. Wait, is there a village this way? That, that zombie villager literally just walked over here. Uh, hello? This is kind of weird. I don't even see a village. <laughs> Wait, what? Why... Why is that a thing? Okay, okay, maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe you have to sleep multiple nights before Binny reveals himself. So you know what? I'll just make a bed. That's the easiest thing I could do, right? Let's just go back to my base here and make a bed. There we go. Grab some wood. Beautiful wool right there. Now if I just place this down and I go to sleep. Wait, one out of two players are sleeping. Wait, what do you mean one out of... Wait, what? I, dude, I'm on a single player world. What are you talking about? One out of two players. Wait a second, guys. Hello? Who's that? Yo, wait, what is this? What is this? Oh my god, no, 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 no. This has to be real. This has to be real. Bro, what? Wait, that's my base! Oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. Hold up, wait. My keyboard's not working. I can still use my mouse. I can still use... My keyboard's not working anymore. Bro. My key... Yo, listen, listen. I literally... I can move my mouse still, but my keyboard is not working at all. Wait, hold up. What is happening? What is happening? Bro, I can't see it. Oh my god. Yo, I'm scared. I can't even have five. 
Yo, wait, that's Biddy! No, I can't move. I can't move. This zombie's killing. I can't move. I can't move. He's coming. Wait, wait. Oh my god. Oh, I can move again. I can move. Yo, that was Biddy. That was actually Biddy. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What? It's a real thing. What? I thought that was clickbait. I thought we were just getting scammed. That was. Oh my god, bro. That was a real thing. Bro, that lore was real. I've never, I've never seen Biddy before, but that thing is actually real. Are you kidding me? What? Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Something, something's not right. Something's not right. Uh, Benny, Benny, are you here? Okay. I know I'm talking to an AI, which sounds so stupid. Wait, one, one, zero. Oh my God, bro. No, no, no. Stop. 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 Wait, stop. Wait, no. It's still going. Bro, what? Stop. Benny must actually be Morse code, bro. It's just spamming in chat. That's all this is. Is Benny secretly a virus that has infected my computer? Are you a hacker? Oh my God, guys. Benny, show yourself. Wait, wait. I, I can't, I can't, wait, wait, I, I can't press T again, oh god, no, that must be Biddy's coming, that must be, oh my god, there he is, there he is, I can look, but I can't see, no, stop, stop, wait, wait, my computer, it's black, wait, what, hold up, I gotta get my phone, I gotta get my phone, my entire PC just blue screen, the entire thing just blue screen mid recording as I'm doing this right now, no signal, this monitor went completely black, this one was just blue screen just a second ago, this all just happened just now, bro, what, hold up, I need to, I got Turn this back on, okay? There we go. I think we're booting up. I think we're booting up. Hold up, hold up. I'm just waiting. Bro, what? I didn't think this thing was real. Are you serious? If you guys caught anything at all that I missed in this video, you need to comment it down below. Hey, come on, PC, come on. My mouse and keyboard aren't even working anymore, bro. What is happening? Oh, wait, we're back? Okay, wait a second. Hold up, I'm gonna start recording. Okay, we're back. We're back, we're here. I'm here, we're here right here. There we are, okay. Wait, respawn? Where do I respawn? Wait, where? Bro, I'm at the bottom of the... What? Wait, how did I even get in here? Where's my spawn? Where's my bed? Where's all my... Why do I only have one level? Why is my level only one? I have... I don't even have a thin... Oh my god. 1100. 1100. Oh, Benny's real. Benny's real. Benny's real! And my PC just went black again. It's completely, it, Minecraft entirely. My computer's still on, but Minecraft entirely just closed down. Bro, what about my giant Alex world? I, I need to go back. And timer stop. It has literally been six hours since I've tapped back in game. And okay, we're here. Everything kind of seems a little bit normal. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, why is there fire? Hold up, guys. Okay something's not right here. Wait, this fire must be fresh. Wait, something new I was coming back online, but it was six hours. Anything could have happened within six hours. But all of a sudden, now? Now it happens? Uh, something doesn't seem right about this. I think Giant Alex might actually be near us. There's no way. Hold up. I, I, I need concrete proof and evidence. The whole swamp is slowly burning, but I didn't think that Giant Alex did. I didn't know that Giant Alex did things with fire. I thought Giant Alex was supposed to be peaceful and not harmful unless this is something deeper and darker than giant alex giant alex if you are reading this show yourself i don't know if ai understands ai but it's worth a shot uh guys guys i'm hearing something um hello is there somebody or something in this world that needs to show themselves to me i don't know about you guys but i'm just having some <gasps> oh my wait wait hold up hold up wait that was actually giant no wait that was giant Alex. That was giant Alex. Oh my God. Wait, no, 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 no. He was right here. They were right there. Right here. Right on the street. Right on the street. They were right here. Just a second ago. Oh my God, bro. I knew it. I called it. I called it. I called it. I called it. I was right. Oh my God. And I got it on video. I'm recording. I'm, I got that on video. I got that on video. Oh, this is amazing. Wait, wait where, where where, did giant Alex go exactly? Wait, that, that's the footprint that near giant Alex was at. Wait, I just heard uh, flint and steel, I, I think. Um, something's going on here. Wait, what's happening to my screen? What's happening to my... Wait, 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 what's happening? My entire Minecraft is not booting up anymore. I literally have to reinstall Minecraft. Bro, what? Did giant Alex corrupt my game? Vil R, the corrupted villager that never made it out of the game. Vil R is pronounced as the villager that never survived. The ghost that haunts every single village. Well, today I'm going on an adventure in hopes to find Vil R. But first, there are a few things we have to do. Creating a generic Minecraft world could work, but there are a few things that we can do to up the chances just a little bit more. I went ahead and turned off every single firewall in my computer. My Windows Defender VPN turned off. My computer is now open to any attacker. 
all we have to do now is just load into the world and anything can happen. I mean, at this point, any application could come in and literally destroy my computer. This is a massive risk that I'm willing to take. Okay, here we go. We have ourselves in a little bit of a foresty biome. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I gathered all of my basic resources and I started to hunt for a village. I've been running for say 10 minutes or so and we have no sight of a villa. Oh, wait, wait, yes, dude, finally. Oh my gosh, okay, thank goodness. I truly thought for a second we weren't gonna find anything, but now, time to get started Whew. okay step number one and this is one of the most important things that we have to do we have to take some screenshots i feel like it's a really smart idea if we start to become familiar with this village as you know every village is different and oh my goodness i gotta say this is one creepy area for a village to be located oh hi cat you're stuck here you go i'll help you there you there you go okay if i could just make this jump Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, it's just a regular villager house. Nothing else in here. Wait, did that villager just close that door? I, I swear he did. Okay, I, my brain could just be playing tricks on me. I have to stay in the state of clarity with all this, especially when we're hunting for a lord like this. The last thing you want to do is get your hopes up and something bad really happens. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll take an extra bed in case I just... Okay, no, this time I did not do that. There's literally, there's literally no villagers outside. It just closed again. Wait, I didn't do that. With myself getting comfortable in the village, I started to get some eerie feelings things were going bad. However, we can't jump to conclusions until we have solid proof. Okay, so it's been maybe a half an hour since I've logged into the world. I found out the house at which I'm planning to stay at. I've got my bed situated right here and we're pretty much ready to go and hunt for Villar. Wait, got, wait, guys, why did it get so dark in here? Wait, hold up, hold up, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, it's normal out here. Wait, wait, what is this? Hold up, wait, is this glass? Wait, why did it, tinted glass, wait, that was a glass pane just a moment ago. Uh, can we roll back the clip for just one second? Okay, after reviewing the footage, that was absolutely not tinted glass. Something is going on is definitely setting the tone for everything because things are starting to feel a little bit off. But again, I can't psych myself out until we get concrete proof that Villar's actually here. What you're about to witness, I almost couldn't believe myself, but I'm gonna leave this clip completely untouched. No edits, no music, nothing. But you can see it firsthand for yourself. Oh God, oh God, no, please don't do this. Please don't do this. No, 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 no. Please, we can work this out, please. I'm, oh, gosh dang it, dude, come on. Come on, witch, die, thank you. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Now that you're dealt with, we can actually deal with the real problem here. I think we're gonna start noticing things mainly when nighttime rolls around. Whoa, whoa, wait, what is that? Oh my God, dude, wait, there's lightning everywhere. Welcome to my playhouse, execute.exe, wait, what? Oh my God, wait guys, it turned nighttime. Okay, wait, hold up. Something is actually wrong with this world. This is not all just a joke. Even the horses are freaking out. Okay, bro, wait, wait, what just died there? Something's dying. Uh, guys, y'all saw that too, right? Wait, I'm about to die. No, 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 Please, please. Okay, there we go, there we go. Wait, dude, something was here. So, that actually just happened. Lightning struck most of the houses, mainly all the ones over here. I didn't see it hit many of these ones because I'm pretty sure a fire would have started. Okay, wait, that must mean Villar is amongst us. Wait a second. Where? Hello? The door just closed behind me, bro. The door just closed literally right behind me. That was not me. You guys saw that. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. Where are all the villagers at? I know it's nighttime. They should be sleeping, but where are they? None. Wait a second. None. Wait a second. What? None? Where are they? Wait, something just died there. What keeps dying? Uh, the door just closed. Okay, maybe that was the village. He's dead. It Okay, no, something is certainly wrong now. There are villagers spawning in front of me, just like this one. It's dead! Wait, how are they just dying in front of me like that? Wait a second, are there any remaining surviving villagers? There has to be one somewhere. Uh, hello? Hello? Wait, I just saw this door open. Oh, wait, there's two in here. Okay, that's a good sign. Are there any more? I have a theory, but I need to confirm it before I say anything. Okay, last house, last house. Okay, yep, those are the only two surviving villagers. And the only good thing about it is the fact that they literally can't leave their house. Wait, there's two more right here? Wait, there's three more. There are no more right there. 
Okay, now I am getting creeped out. Okay, wait, 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 hold up. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, hold up. Before when we started this video, we saw a lot of villagers. We saw a bunch of villagers. We even took screenshots. But now there are only two remaining villagers left in this village. My theory with this is what if Vil R is disguised as one of these villagers? Wait, everything's tinted glass again. Everything is tinted glass again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a good idea for this, but I need to go to bed. Hold up, we're gonna wait until the morning. Okay, it is now daytime. Now, I don't know how we're supposed to test this theory exactly, but there are two villagers right here. These are the last two villagers that have survived. Wait a second. What is that up there? Hold up, guys. I see something in the cave. Wait, something died right there. Wait, there's more. Wait, hold up. Something's going on over there. Wait, what is all this about? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I can get screenshots of this just so I know. Yep, I got a screenshot. I caught it. Nope, nope, nope. Stay away. I got bigger problems to deal with than you right now. Wait, hold up. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still dying. It's still dying. Wait, what is that? Wait, those are villagers. Wait, they're falling from the sky. Wait, literally, look. Dude, wait, why is this happening? Oh my God, wait. This could... I think this actually can confirm. Wait, dude. Wait, now it stopped. Wait, how is that even possible, bro? The moment I get over here, it just stopped. I swear, I saw something on top of the mountain. Now, was it Villar? I, I don't know. I didn't get a good enough of a look, but the villagers falling here, that's not normal. That shouldn't happen. I've been playing Minecraft for almost 12 years. I know for a fact that doesn't happen. That's not a glitch that's in this game. This can only be an act. Villar. As I got to the top of the mountain and realized nothing was here, I had noticed that there was something happening over at the village, so I had to go back. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Please, 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 okay? Okay, okay. Okay, wait, I did see something happening over here, but I don't know what. Uh, wait a second. I saw it from a distance. There was something. There was particles of some sort, but I don't see anything now. Okay, wait, one villager's there. Wait, hold up. Why did that golem just take damage? Y'all saw that too, right? Wait, hold up, that's not okay. Wait, it's still taking damage literally in front of me. I'm not even touching it. I'm literally not even touching it. It is actively taking damage right now, and it's not retaliating against anything. Something in the game is dealing damage to it. Wait, are you on like, are you on a glitch block or something? Maybe like standing on a cactus underneath? Wait, that wouldn't make any sense at all. What am I talking about? Golem's dead. Okay, wait a second, guys. My theory from earlier actually doesn't sound that crazy. There's one farmer right there, and there's another villager somewhere in here. You better be in this house. Um, Where did that other villager go? <laughs> guys? I think Villar... As crazy as this might sound, I think Villar is disguised as the farmer right now. That is the last remaining survived villager. There's literally no golems left. There is literally nothing living left in this biome except for that villager. You might think I'm crazy for that one, and I hope I am. Oh my god, wait, where are they falling to? Wait, wait, oh no! Oh, oh, okay, okay, wait, what is that? That's the void! I almost just died right there. Oh, wait, there is another villager here. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, wait, hold up. I cannot get comfortable right now. This is probably the eeriest thing. We're only on day two of this, bro. We're only literally on day two. Oh my God, the villager's massive. I called it. That's gotta be Villar. Oh my God, dude. Look how massive this thing is. Bro, look at this. That farmer is literally massive. No, 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 no. Wait, what do I even do? What do I even do? What do I even do? Bro, I called it. There is something wrong with that. With that farmer. That farmer has to be Villar. Wait, stuff is blowing up here. The house is everything. Wait, wait, why did my game freeze? Why did my game freeze? I just, cra I just completely crashed. Oh my gosh. What? Right now I'm looking at all the screenshots that we took before the video and look at what I found and tell me this isn't terrifying. Okay, so we have the one screenshot of the village in the beginning. We can go over a few, and there's a few more screenshots of the village. But you want to know what's even creepier? It's this. This is a regular screenshot that we had taken in-game. In fact, it literally has the name on it. 2022-0421, okay? But look at this villager. You're telling me that doesn't mean something? First things first, we're going to load up on the confirmed scariest 
Minecraft seed there's ever been created. We're gonna go ahead and name this world Scary Do Not Enter. And as our seed, we're gonna go ahead and type in 9585-851205. Now, this seed right here was ranked the scariest seed known to man. Obviously, we're gonna keep cheats off and we're gonna be in survival mode. And now all we have to do is load into the world and see exactly what's going on here. Everything seems pretty normal. This is just a regular Minecraft world. And I mean, in fact, honestly, nothing seems scary about this, but it's because we haven't activated or given the game to be scary towards us. I mean, let's think about it for a minute. If you're in the caves mining alone and all of a sudden you hear the cave noises, it's almost coincidence. It's as if the game knows that you're alone and it's trying to scare you. But, but an even more weird coincidence that I want to figure out is some of the game mobs and some of the noises they make. Right now we are inside of an editing software and you'll notice I have two clips here, two clips that I need to investigate. And this all ties in with the world. Now, first thing that we have here is the Minecraft Enderman sound. The Endermans sound like this and this, okay, seems normal. But if you listen to it closely, we can actually drag this out to slow it down. It almost sounds like the Enderman is saying, what's up? Listen closely. Hmm. Okay, maybe the slow motion throws me off. Listen one more time. Weird, isn't it? Now, my question is, if we take this exact same clip, and instead of hearing this, we reverse it, do we get anything different? So by just clicking reverse, we now have the reverse version. Hmm, nothing seems too off about that one. I mean, it still almost sounds like the Enderman is saying, what's up? but nothing stands out too much. And this is where my investigation got a little bit scarier. Introducing Disc 11. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Disc 11 is terrifying. Every single time I hear this, it gives me the heebie-jeebies for reasons that it probably does the same to you. It's uncomfortable to listen to this almost. Now, my question is, Disc 11 is nearly a minute and five seconds long. It's a long song in Minecraft, but what happens if we go ahead and we reverse it. Let's see if the timeline of the song changes at all. This is terrifying. You're telling me that there's not something more to this? I don't buy it. And with my theories, I spent the next seven days inside of my Minecraft world, searching specifically for everything and anything terrifying. And on day one, I had the first scary attempt that I was embarking on. So I'm inside of my base. So far, <laughs> nothing is scary. Everything is completely normal in this world. And despite this being the scariest Minecraft seed ever, right now, I'm not buying it. But I do have one thing that we could try, the good old fashioned sign trick. And if you are a long-term viewer of the Shark Channel, you would know that we used to communicate with tons of lores through signs. I mean, signs are literally a part of the game. And so I'm gonna write a simple message is there anything scary in this world? Is there anything scary in this world? Just give it a moment to look around and see what's going on here. And you know what's funny? I don't think anything is. Do you know why? Well, very simply, we aren't speaking in the game's language. I mean, Minecraft can't understand English. We have to speak in more code. So if I place on another sign here, I'm currently copying a secret chat code from another website here. If this works, I should be able to... Oh, wait a second actually work okay hold up scary and now beneath we're gonna do the same thing now we have this the top line and the third line are text that the game can actually understand and the middle line is obviously just english of it saying scary so wait wait, wait, wait hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up all the trees just turned to brown well okay wait a second this is actually legit wait no way i didn't i didn't think this was actually gonna work okay hold up i can't go whoa 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 wait a second the whole forest it's literally decaying wait what oh my god wait, wait everything's changing the biome's changing wait what oh my gosh wait this actually worked wait a second where's the trees going everything look at this it's like the world's getting eaten away oh my gosh wait guys this is legit i i didn't expect this i i did not think that was gonna work Wait, this is kind of creepy. That was just something for me to just, you know, try something, but I didn't expect this. Oh my God, wait, all the, the, the forest everywhere, all around us, everything is decaying. Look at this. It's as if the game understands something bad's about to happen. But when the sun set down and the moon came out is when things started getting weird. Okay, aside from the decayed forest, nothing else has happened. And so I'm determined to spend seven days in this world to prove that this is actually something scary. Now, we haven't obtained 
disc 11 yet so we really can't actually expect much but so wait a second there's a spider jockey the odds of that are like one in like twenty thousand. it's kind of rare wait a second dude this is happening right in front of me i'm not touching my keyboard at all oh my god oh my god okay i'm sorry i have to there's no lava pool around me and there's fire that is just spawned right in front of my house i can't see does this say something wait a second this looks like d e a T A Death For day number two, I have one set goal I need to do. Now, I'm keeping these signs up. I'm not going to touch them whatsoever. What I need to do is somehow obtain disc 11. I searched hours and hours on end, looking through villages, dungeons, and mine shafts, trying to obtain disc 11. And that's when all of a sudden, I stumbled across this. There's no lava pool here. Wait, hold up. Is this a dungeon? Oh my god, I think it might be. Wait a second, bro. Okay, hold up. We actually might be getting somewhere. Oh my god, it is, it is, it is. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But are there usually skulls in Wait, where are the mobs? There's no torches here. Oh, there they are. Okay, yep, there they are. All right, don't mind me, guys. I'm here for one thing and one thing only, okay? Please, please, please. Oh, a notch. Wait, disc 11. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Yes, we got everything. Oh, now this is amazing. I'm gonna get rid of you. Thank you. There we go. Oh my gosh. And a jukebox. No way. Oh my gosh. This is huge. <laughs> yes, this is all we came for. Okay, now it's time. We need to head home. Oh my God. Literally after hours, we have finally obtained disc 11 and a jukebox and surprisingly a notch apple but as of right now I, I really have no purpose for that okay so i don't care too much disc 11 is now here with us we played it reversed in our editing program but it's now time to play it in minecraft and see if something actually will happen we're gonna activate disc 11 on the scariest minecraft world ever and we're gonna see if anything is gonna happen but before i do that everybody watching has to click subscribe right now we're gonna beat the youtube algorithm together and it's only possible if everybody does it okay here we go three two one Wait, hold up. It just turned nighttime. It just turned out. Wait, there's a phantom looking. Literally, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Wait, why do I hear TNT? Wait, what's going on? Wait, yo, there's an explosion behind our house. Wait a second. Okay. Wait, there's one individual phantom flying around me right now. Why does that phantom seem bugged out? It doesn't seem like a normal phantom. Uh, okay, wait, hold up, hold up. If I stop the disc right now, you're telling me... And... Wait a second, it just went back to daytime. Wait a second, what? The moment I took the disc out, it went back to daytime and everything stopped. Wait, if I reactivate the disc, does it reactivate everything else? And? Oh my God, whoa, 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 an explosion. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's fire being activated all around us, guys. Wait, hold up. This is... I don't know if it follows us or not. Is this something where... Do we get followed? Oh, my God. Wait. Yo, wait a second, guys. Wait, hold up. Nah, no, 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 no. Something's not right with this. Something's not right. If you guys think for a second that I'm messing with you guys, I'm not even going to touch my freaking keyboard, bro. Okay, I kind of have to touch my keyboard. I need to move around. Oh, my God, bro. No, no, no. This is... What was that? Yo, chill, bro. I don't like this scary stuff. Ooh. Wait a second. It might be like the lunar moon, meaning the longer the disc plays the scarier things get. And when the disc ends, it gets horrible. Okay, okay. We're about halfway through the disc right now. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, I need to stop it. I need to stop the disc right now. I need to stop it. I need to stop it. Oh. Wait a second. There's CNT here. Nope. Wait, the fire is gone. Wait, all the fire just disappeared. I think there has something to do with this. Disc 11 has ties into the game. Since I'm on the scariest seat ever, and I activated the scary itself. It's actually working oh my god it's real there's no way this is actually legit okay i think i have an idea it is now officially day three and i think the only way that we're gonna see some major progress with this is if we move i mean our main goal here is to find everything and anything terrifying so now home you've served us great but now we're on the move and the reason i moved around the world is to try and find the core to all this scariness okay so we're really far away and i want to find the core of this i mean why would mojang add things like disc 11 and herobrine and giant alex and enderman that talk to you i mean there's clearly a reason for it 
So first things first, let's start with all the scary stuff, shall we? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna place down the jukebox, we're gonna put in disc 11. Oh God, here we go. Wait a second. The, the, the sun, wait, the sun's moving really fast. Wait a second, wait, how's it doing that? Wait, the moon, look at it, it's moving. It's like, it's like it's moving a lot faster this time. Wait a second, now it's jumping even faster. Wait, time is speeding up. Wait, is everything around me moving faster? Look, the, the moon is literally setting and the sun is rising. It's moving even faster now. No, 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 this, this can't be possible. We're, we're in a time delay right now. We're like moving and rotating in the future. No, I, I need to stop this. Oh my God, look, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime. No, we're stopping, stop. And it stopped immediately. Wait, we're actually on to something. We're actually on to something. Okay, my other question is here now. If I play disc 11 and I leave this location, does it follow me? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. We just need to get far away from the disc where we can barely hear it anymore. Okay, there we go. I can barely hear it from down this hill. Oh my God. Wait, the moon. Wait, what's wrong with the moon? Look at it. Wait a second. Where'd it go? Oh my God. Look at the moon. Wait, the time delay. It's actually happening. It is a real thing. Wait, so the core of this, it all ties in together. It all means something. Oh my God. Now what happens if I play the disc out all the way to the very end? I think this is what we need to do to figure out what's going on. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think we're getting close to this. Wait a second. The, the sun. Wait a second. Hold up. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. We're letting the... Wait, what is that? Wait, there's, there's text in chat. Wait, what is that? Oh God, wait, the sun, the, the moon, it's moving so fast. Wait, the text again, it's going crazy. My whole game just shut down. Wait a second, my whole game just shut down. Everything just, everything just went off. Completely just went off. We're gonna launch Minecraft again. Oh wait, what? Why do I have a funny suspicion that everything we just did ties into this? Something's not right. We're now back in the main menu. My last available world is on uh, 41023, which, um, I mean, now it's it's not 41023. What even is this world? This, where did my scary world go? This is even my world. Where did the scary world go? Do you see that in the left corner? Wait a second. It's gone. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. The core of this, where did all of this stuff begin? Well, now we're in Minecraft version 1.0.0. We have no worlds available. What happens if we create a world? Is my game permanently corrupted? I mean, was the scary stuff even introduced back then in this era of Minecraft? Or was this premature of Minecraft? I mean, I'm going to be honest. Everything seems normal here. It just seems like really old and laggy Minecraft. You know, if anything, this feels safer than the world we were just in. It's so old and everything here looks... Wait a second. What is that? Wait, what is that? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! You can call me crazy all you want, but I'll bet you, you didn't know that Entity 303 was actually an ex-employee of Minecraft. In fact, it says it right here on the forums. Entity 303 is commonly said to be the new Herobrine, a former Mojang employee was fired by Notch. And I know, I read every single comment from you guys. You have been begging me to do an Entity 303 video. The problem is Entity 303 is genuinely so dangerous. This is not a regular lore. This is not a lore that is just gonna haunt you and kill you in game. This is a lore that can literally hack your computer and destroy your network. But how can Entity 303 get access to this information? You see, when your computer connects to the internet, joins a big cloud of other computers. When you access a wormhole, such as Entity 303, anything monitoring that same wormhole can see you're entering its territory. And we've just officially entered. As I said, we are now in the territory of Entity 303. I mean, yes and no, we're just in a Minecraft world, but in hindsight, similar to accessing web pages, Minecraft worlds that are connected to the internet can be the exact same. You need to be careful because you never know what can happen. Now, enough of the scary campfire stories. I want real facts. And that's the exact reason why I'm here in the first place. And maybe that's the same reason you guys have been begging me in the comments to make a video on this. 
Now, I'm going to be honest, no wooden sword or diamond sword or even a netherite sword is going to stop a lore like Entity 303. But I still want to be prepared just in case something does happen. Now, I can just make myself a sword. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Wait. Wait a second. Wait. What is this? Wait, okay. I was going to say something about the world felt really different, but what is this? There's a cauldron with lit candles and a skull on top of it. This was just sitting here. And to my knowledge, this is nothing within Minecraft's game code. This isn't something that would just naturally generate in a seed. That's really autumn. Awesome. Actually, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's very weird. But until we get concrete evidence of Entity 303, we are not settling for anything less. The chat spams with file overload in red text along with make a wish in gray text. This is what a player experience as they're describing here on the forum. And if we scroll down a little bit, there's actually a YouTube video of somebody that literally caught Entity 303 on camera and uploaded it to this forum. We're gonna watch it here right now. So he seems to be walking through a cave of some sort, nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, this video is only 13 seconds long. And then what happens here? Wait, the screen's kind of bugging off. Wait, what's that? Wait, that's Entity 303 right there. And it's, it's, it's gone. We have to do something that's gonna get Entity 303's attention so we can summon it too. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard, right? I mean, if we just stay in game here, we need to somehow be able to activate Entity 303. And what if I just try and mimic what Entity 303 did? Like um, file overload or make a wish, because that's exactly what, what Entity 303 did. But I mean, come on, that's kind of silly. You actually think that me typing in a Minecraft chat is going to summon an Entity 303? I mean, odds of that are next to nothing, which is kind of the unfortunate part, because I don't really know what else to do. I mean, maybe I could just do it again or a few times. I don't, I don't wait. Object successfully summoned by player number 303. Wait. Wait, hold up, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. The chat is being spammed now. Wait, this is... A oh my god, wait, 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 wait. This is actually working. Everybody's gonna call me out for clickbait. I'm literally gonna click tab right now. There, there is no tab. I'm in a single-player Minecraft world at the moment. Oh my god, bro, wait, this is actually happening. This is actually happening. Bro, wait, what? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. And wait, what if I say stop? Wait, it stopped. Entity 303 is AI. It's a ex-Mojang employee, which makes sense, right? Out of all the lores that we ever hunted from Giant Alex and, and Vil R and Harrowbrine and just everything, it would make the most sense if Entity 303 is the most comprehensive of them all because it understands the game code of Minecraft. So when I say stop, it stops. And when I say things such as file overload, it will begin again. Oh my God, wait, it's true. It's actually true. Okay, so we know now if I say stop, it will stop. Now we need to find a way to get a physical appearance of Entity 303. I do not recommend anybody to do what I'm about to do. But for the sake of the video, this might be our golden ticket. Right now, we are looking at our Windows Defender. We're gonna go over here where it says turn Windows Defender firewall on or off, and we're going to turn everything completely off. And once I click OK, my computer is completely vulnerable to everything on the network. Look, I literally have a security pop-up that just showed up. All of my firewalls are now down. So in essence, anything that is monitoring my connection anywhere around the world, in fact, should have full access. I mean, I am pretty much fully vulnerable at this point in time. I patiently waited for what felt like hours and with no luck, I had almost given up until this happened. Okay. Um, I had to take a break. I literally, my recording has been going for two and a half, almost two hours and 45 seconds now. And I had to take a break. There was nothing happening whatsoever. And there still isn't. I mean, bro, what's the point of this? Wait a second. Did, was that an egg? Was, was that an egg that was just the wrong? I swear I just saw that, bro. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? The door is opening and closing. There's a... Oh, my God. Uh, somebody just hit me. My door is opening and closing. Wait, what's this sign say? Uh, oh, my God, bro. No. Oh, my... Okay, okay, okay. You know what? No, we've, we've been patiently waiting for this. Wait, just... Wait, stop. I didn't tell it to go again. So, it... Stop. I didn't enable Entity 303 again. So, why is it still going? 
Has it overwritten its... Oh my god, wait. Uh, Something tells me it has overwritten its own powers. There's there's more to this. There's a more, there's a more powerful and demonic side to this. Wait a second. Wait. The forum. There's got to be something here that we're missing. I mean, we've come this far, but we can't seem to get an actual sighting. It, this doesn't make any sense. There's got to be more to this. There has to be. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up just a moment. This makes sense now. December 11th, 2013. If we roll back our computer times to go back in time, we could potentially replicate exactly what these people were going through. Now, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to go back in time. I have just set the time on my computer to over 10 years ago. The last time that we entered the Entity 303 world was 10 years ahead of time. And now, 10 years back, hypothetically, we're now going to re-enter it to see if we can replicate this. Okay, this is so weird having my computer time be 10 years back. I mean, none of this stuff. Minecraft was still a baby game. I mean, I was 13 years old when this first instant happened, but we actually managed to do it. Now, the biggest question of all is, does anything change with this? Now, if I go ahead and start to aggro Entity 303 again, can we just say some things that is supposed to trigger it? Do we potentially aggro this thing? And can we actually replicate what those people on the forum had gone through? See, the weirdest part with all this, number one, there are multiple different types of logs laying... Wait a second. Did you see that? I swear I did clean my glasses this morning, but I swear I had seen something way to right in here. Wait, where does this go? There's just a hole here. Wait, does this lead into a cave or something? This is like a really claustrophobic cave. Okay, no, that's that's just generation. Okay, I totally Did you guys see that? I'm like 99% sure that was Entity 303 just in front of me. It actually worked. Oh my God. I'm in like such disbelief right now. This is actually working right in front of our eyes. I didn't think this was gonna work. Okay, so now that we have the attention, right there, right there, right there, behind the tree, behind the tree. We now have Entity 303's attention, which if this is the case, we can now, oh my goodness, we can actually experiment with this. Wait, I know it. I need signs. I mean, Entity 303 is communicating through Minecraft text and signs. So if I get signs, for instance, wait, why am I freezing? What's going on? Wait, what's happening? My whole game is freezing. Wait, what in the, I'm not even touching anything. My whole computer is like dying on me. Okay, I'm going to write down system overload. Does the AI of Entity 303 actually understand? Wait, my computer's 10 years back. My firewall is turned off. Entity 303 is here. That can only mean one thing. My computer is compromised. My whole computer just blue screened. Please be recording. Please be recording. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come back online. I have reset my computer to go back to the current day. As you guys can see, it is May 24th, 2023. My computer would literally not boot unless I put it back to the correct time zone. But now I want to see if I can get back on the world. Okay, we're launching Minecraft. Minecraft is now opening up as we speak. Wait, it's still here. It's all still here. Oh my God. But wait a second. Even though my computer's 10 years back into the future, it's all still here. But wait, everything's regenerating. It's like it's like the game is rolling back of some sort. It's like it had a backup and it's recovering it in front of our eyes in real time. Wait a second. This doesn't make any sense. I'm like... I'm like actually confused right now. If we try to do this again, does Entity 303 still work? Have I leaked something potentially into the mainframe of Minecraft? It seems like that. Wait, hold up. File overload. Make a wish. Wait, wait. It's it's actually working. Wait, guys. Guys, it's actually work. Wait, what is that? Uh, wait, what was that above the tree? Guys, something. There he is right there. He's here in 2023, an entire decade later. Entity 303 still lives. Oh, my computer, it's, it's compromised. And wait, I can't move anymore. I can't move, guys. Guys, this isn't, this isn't good. Uh, no, 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 no! Okay, so obviously what we know about Giant Alex is she is huge. She's the same size as a Minecraft giant, which means we need something sizable enough to trap her inside of. Now, on the forum, I saw that there was players that dug out a massive hole similar to what we kind of have right here. 
and spawning in tons of villagers on the inside is exactly what they did as well. Now, all of this doesn't really make that much sense to me as to why Giant Ox would be hunting for villagers. Usually it's players, but the most important thing about this is Giant Ox footprints. You see, Giant Ox footprints are three by two blocks, pretty much the same size as your regular Minecraft foot, but like astronomically larger. And I'm assuming by adding footprints nearby, when Giant Alex realizes that she thinks that something of her similar kind is close. If Giant Alex is actually in this world, or so claims to be by the forums, this has to be the way to lure her in. So we have all these footprints right here leading all the way up to this villager hole. Now this seems really, really ghetto. Loki, it kind of is. The other more important thing I have to do is go completely AFK. It's like a cat. If you run at a cat, they're gonna run. So I need to play super, super careful here. I'm just going to dig myself in a little hole right in this corner. And we're going to go completely AFK. Just like this. Oh my god, wait. Hold. Wait, wait, wait. She's right there. She's right there. Oh my god. Bro, there's no way. Hold up. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move yet. We've been filming for over 48 minutes. And literally more than half of that is me just sitting AFK here. Okay, hold up. We're not going to move at all, guys. Listen, you guys are seeing this firsthand right now. I need you all to subscribe to the channel because we are going to find all of the scary smiths in 2024. She's literally right in front of us. If she falls in that hole, I'm going to move. Take another screenshot for proof. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wait. Wait, she... She's completely gone. Wait, where did she go? She was just here a second ago. I, I literally have real proof of this. I have real legitimate proof of this happening right here, right in the world. 2024-0110. This is the day that we are recording this right here, right now, bro. Oh my God, bro. That is, that is terrifying. That is creepy, bro. Now, if you want to see something even more terrifying, go watch my next video by clicking right there. I promise you're going to love it. And I'll see you in the next one.